all right my friends so in today's video we will start with something a lot of you people have been waiting for okay and the reason why i've decided to create a second season to this series and not continue the first series is because i've been using stuff in the first series which i consider as deprecated okay for example i did not include the client replication in any of those episodes so any of those episodes where i've screwed the tags etc and i could of course undo everything or redo everything in the first series but i think for me personally it's easier to create a second series you know so jojo game second season right here and um, obviously the biggest reason why i refuse to drop any kind of tutorial game tutorial videos for uh you know the last time for the past time was because people didn't really you know appreciate it they, they they didn't really watch it and i hope that you will appreciate this series and if not then you won't see any of those videos again all right now with that being said let's start by creating the framework actually for everything we're going to do and by framework i mean the data store first of all all right so let's call this one data store and the thing is i've learned a lot of new stuff now in the past year in the past six months whatsoever and i'm i feel ready to just try out everything i've learned so far all right so first of all we are going to keep things safe when it comes to the data store i'm not gonna use any instances now to you know display stats whatsoever so something i've used to do back then i'm now gonna keep everything in the table and make things accessible only via server or changeable only via server of course accessible on the client all right but we will we'll get to this soon so All right, so let's use these two values just for the beginning. Now, let me explain the concept I'm going to do, all right? So our data store now is going to work like this. So we are going to have a table right here called current, uh, called current data. And this table is going to hold every piece of data from each player, all right? And when a player leaves, the data vanishes from this table. When a new player joins, we receive the uh no, no, no. this the, the table of that player then is being put inside of you okay so this table can uh, contains every data of each player as i've already told you and we have another table called default date and this is basically a template so every player starts off with this template if the player has no stats before has had no stats before but if the player has has had stats before then of course we are going to overwrite this one okay and you're going to find this table inside of this one for each player okay i hope that this was clear if not then you you're hopefully going to understand how this works in the following episodes so this is pretty obvious right here so data store we are referring to our data store service and then calling this get data store function and then setting up a new data store right here now what we want to do is that once a player joins is that we want to add that player's data to this current data table which contains every person's data now game players player edit stands for the stands for the event when a player has been added means a player has joined the game and we receive that player via this argument right here now what we have to do is that we have to check whether this player has already data has no data 
so how can we do that so when it comes to loading data in a data store it is very recommended to use pcall because yeah when it comes to data store stuff roblox tends to just come up with random ass errors so just use pcalls right here so what a pcall does is that everything you wrap inside of here doesn't break the script once it runs into an error so what we're going to do now is that we are going to load the data in between those lines and when it comes to loading the data as i've already told you it is very very you know likely to run to an error while doing so so maybe the data couldn't been loaded maybe there is any other random issue you know and just for the sake of not breaking the whole script once that happens we have to wrap it inside of this p call okay so those two variables called success and error m so success of course stands for success error m stands for error message now with everything inside of here which we're going to write down soon was a success was successfully run then this will be true and this will be nil all right but if you have received any error message or if you have run into an, into an error then this is false or nil i'm not sure and this is and, and this contains the error message basically okay and then you can later on check if error m then error error m you know so if 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 there was an error message then you can print out that error message if you want to now what we want to do now is that we want to create a variable right here called loaded data and this one is going to refer to our loaded data so data store get async and then we need to add the key we have saved with and this key is going to be our user id okay so you might be confused with this one but that's totally normal i already know how i'm going to design the save function that's the reason why i can tell that the key is going to be like this but once we get to the save function you guys will understand what the key is what it does and how i can know that the key is going to be the user id all right now if loaded data doesn't equal nil then current data current data plus one now nah, wait not plus wait 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 player name equals loaded data else current data player name equals default data there we go so what basically happens right here is that we have this variable all right and this variable now tries to load the data which was assigned to this unique key okay so we use the player's user id as the key because it is unique because every player has its own user id and we check if there is any data assigned to this key assigned to this player's user id and if that is the case which is down here so basically the check literally means if our loaded data is not not existent <laughs> means it is existent then we are referring to this table and then we are creating a completely new index called player.name so basically our player's name and this one equals the loaded data so the data which has been loaded okay and that's and that's how we fill up this table every time when a new player joins okay now if this check fails okay means else and we can use else in this context because else stands for any other case okay and what other case could there be besides this one so if the player's data is not not existent and any other case would mean if the player's data is not existent okay so if it doesn't exist then we refer to this table once again create our create our index right here which has our player's name and then we set it equal with this default data template right okay so if if loaded data exists then we fill up the table with with that loaded data if there is no loaded data then we fill up that table with the default data template right here and that's how you fill up this table okay now in the next episode we are going to hopefully finish this data store right here and yeah and then we are going to move yeah we are going to move on with the save function and i'm going to show you how you can change stuff how you can 
access stuff via the client so how you can how you can read the data of your player whatsoever so we're going to deal with this one in the next episode or even the next episodes depends on the time etc etc with that being said thank you guys for watching leave a like subscribe share this video to all of your friends give me feedback in the comment section guys take care see you in the next video also appreciate the series really appreciate it watch the series if you do not watch it if only 20 people or so watch this so if, if i only have 20 views after like three hours or so i'm gonna i swear to god i'm, I'm gonna stop this i'm i'm, I'm not i'm not i'm never gonna do those kind of series again